Good evening and welcome. Let's take a look at the top story that we are tracking for you. Pakistan's Prime Minister's obsession with Kashmir continues. During his latest visit to Sri Lanka, Imran Khan has once again raised the issue of Kashmir and said that it is the only major issue between India and Pakistan. He said that he wants the issue to be resolved according to the UNSC resolution, which can only be resolved through dialogue. The Pakistan-Sri Lanka joint statement, however, had no mention of the Kashmir issue. My dream for the subcontinent is that we resolve our difference, and our difference is only one. It's the Kashmir issue. All we want is it to be resolved according to the United Nations Security Council resolution. And this can only be resolved through dialogue. In an effort to avoid confrontation with India, Sri Lanka had cancelled Khan's scheduled speech in Parliament. The Colombo government cannot risk its relations with India right now, especially when India is the main supplier of COVID-19 vaccines to the country and has recently gifted 500,000 doses of Covishield vaccines to Sri Lanka. Our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sadan Sibyl, is joining us live for more on this. Good evening to you, Sadan. Now, Prime Minister Imran Khan has again raised the issue of Kashmir and has said that it is the only major issue between India and Pakistan. But the joint statement between Pakistan and Sri Lanka had uh, no mention of the Kashmir issue at all. Well, Alison, uh, Pakistan will continue to waste his diplomatic energy and continue to rant about Kashmir at various international forums. That is uh, something that Islamabad has been doing for the last 70 years. But uh, if you look at uh, the, the visit of uh, uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister to Colombo, it is a very short visit and uh, devoid of any substantial outcome. In fact, as you just pointed out, uh, that uh, uh, the, his speech at the Sri Lankan parliament was something that uh, was uh, uh, could not happen primarily because of the fact that uh, the Sri Lankans had the worry that he might raise the, uh, the raise Kashmir in uh, uh, the Sri Lankan parliament. But other than that, uh, the joint statement has just come out short while ago. And in the joint statement, we know that uh, there was no mention of Kashmir. That, of course, is a significant development. First, of course, that every time Pakistani Prime Minister goes to any country in the world, in the joint statement, there is a focus by the Pakistani side that there is mention of Kashmir. That was absent. So it is kind of a first and a significant diplomatic victory for New Delhi because that shows that Sri Lanka was conscious of uh, New Delhi sensitivities on that particular subject. And that is why whether it is the parliament uh, speech of Imran Khan that was cancelled or whether it is the joint statement, no mention of Kashmir. But other than, that, other than this, we know that there is a substantial uh, uh, understanding perhaps in Pakistan now that they really can't do anything about it. We know that India removed the special status for the erstwhile state of Jammu and Kashmir in August of 2019. This August, it will be two, year, two years since that development which happened. And since then, Pakistan, other than ranting at various international forums, could not do anything much. In fact, it wanted an OIC foreign minister's meeting to happen and that also could not happen. So, largely, Pakistan would be keen that there is is some kind of conversation directly with New Delhi. In fact, we, if you look at the statements recently made, the Pakistani army chief uh, Bajwa, whether it's by their NSC or uh, even Im Imran Khan today, in fact, when he spoke about Kashmir, he also talked about he reaching out to Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and talking about trade as a means of uh, increasing uh, conversation and increasing trade between uh, countries in uh, the larger South Asian region, the Indian subcontinent. So largely, it looks like Pakistan is keen. A conversation happens. Uh, and if we, if we go by uh, their Kashmir rhetoric, that is something that they will continue to do so, primarily because of their domestic nature, how they have completely transformed their uh, domestic constituency, which is primarily runs on the rhetoric of Kashmir, the entire energy being devoted on the rhetoric of Kashmir, because that also act as a diversionary focus for uh, the leadership, whether it's the army or the civilian, to divert from other key issues, especially when it comes to economic front. Right. And Sudan, it is, of course, important to notice here the significance of relations between uh, Colombo and New Delhi. And this could, of course, be because India is the main supplier of COVID-19 vaccines to Sri Lanka. 
Well, of course, uh, that of course uh, is a key dimension of this relationship. In fact, one of the co- top stories in Sri Lanka today is not only the visit of uh, the Pakistani Prime Minister, but also vaccines. Today's front page had a story, a significant story of uh, of the Chinese vaccine put on hold by Sri Lanka because lack of data or uh, the, th- the the clinical clinical data on that Chinese vaccine. And of course, India has already gifted vaccines in the month of January to Sri Lanka. There will be more consignments uh, of India-made vaccines being sent out to Sri Lanka. And uh, and we already know about India's uh, vaccine diplomacy in the region and across the world. In fact, barring Pakistan, all the countries in the region have got gifts from India when it comes to the COVID vaccines. Yesterday, Afghanistan started its vaccination program using India-made vaccine. That, of course, is a significant development when it comes to Pakistan, which is uh, talking about uh, Afghan being their brothers, but of course backstabbing them using uh, the tool of terrorism. In fact, Afghanistan, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Nepal, Bangladesh, these countries began their entire COVID vaccination drive using India-made vaccine. The president of Maldives was vaccinated using India-made vaccine. That is, of course, a a significant diplomatic milestone for India uh, vis-a-vis if you look at countries uh, uh, in Asia because largely if you look at uh, uh, vaccines being uh, exported to the world is from India and from China and there is of course worry about Chinese vaccine but when it comes to Indian vaccine they are something that everyone trusts on and uh, the, the, the Sri Lankans clearly know that yes uh, Pakistani Prime Minister is there in Sri Lanka but they know their ties with uh, New Delhi is deeper much closer and something that is kind of a, 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 a historical cultural a, a shared historical and con- cultural value values that both countries share. So largely it is a visit devoid of outcome, almost 24 hours visit in which of course we know it is well known now that the Pakistani Prime Minister used uh, the Indian airspace over exclusive economic Mm. zone to travel to Colombo. Sudan, thank you very much for bringing us the report and all those details there. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.